As drug laws across the country change, police dogs are getting different training. Some canines are no longer being taught to detect marijuana. Investigative reporter Angie Ricono traveled to Denver, Indiana, where many police dogs are trained, and she checked in with local departments who are taking a different approach. They'll see what you're doing and they'll start mimicking. Oh, everybody, see. everybody. It's training time it's okay, buddy. at Von Lick Kennels. Dog search cars. There you go. And luggage. Three, four. Now start to phase out that skin if you're able to. They work to play with their ball. That's the reward. But first, find the drugs. We have methamphetamines, we have heroin, and we have cocaine. There you go. Good. But many dogs no longer train in marijuana. It's just cleaner to not have it on it. Each container states what it is. If you request it, handlers here will add it. That's because many departments are looking long term and deciding with this kind of investment, play it safe. These dogs come from overseas and the training takes months. In the end, these dogs can cost up to $22,000. Five years ago, there were there were rumblings about it. Three years ago, it started and now it's, you know, it's our policy. We don't put marijuana on them until we know. These dogs will work on federal reservations and in communities where marijuana is illegal. So marijuana detection is being added. But what if states change their laws? It can become legally messy for departments and prosecutors. It happened, their source. What did that dog detect? There we go, good. The defense attorneys are gonna, they're gonna tear you apart by saying, well, that cocaine, yeah, you found cocaine in his car, but there was also marijuana in there, and that's what your dog was hitting on, and that's legal. We certified a couple weeks ago, and we are finally on the streets. Kansas City agrees. Meet their new canine, Scoop. He's different from the other police dogs. He doesn't detect marijuana. It is a big investment. It's a lot of commitment to it. Uh, and the way things are changing now, as far as the marijuana laws, it makes sense for us to just not imprint on marijuana. Back. Kansas City is concerned about future drug cases. With Scoop, there will be no excuses. Just because there was a bunch of marijuana there, I can easily st sit on the stand and say, I never imprinted that dog on marijuana. I never trained that dog on marijuana, but I did train that dog on cocaine, methamphetamine, and heroin, which was found. The Clay County Sheriff is taking a different approach. Its new canine detects all four drugs. Chibi recently got a shout out for finding drugs and cash totaling $1 million. And that was investigative reporter Angie Ricono. Our investigation continues on KCTV5.com and our KCTV5 News app. There you'll learn how other local departments are navigating their canine programs.